Good morning, guys. Got some new packages in. Hell yeah, full body kit. Let's jump into the F10. What's up, guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video. And before we get started, let's get some Chipotle. Let's get it. Just got my Chipotle. Let's head back. But let's have some fun, you know? All right, guys, let's give it a quick little rip. Oh shit, and already that fast guys, we are home. Let me just chow down on my Chipotle and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Also gonna be stepping on my editing game. Pull the top off, and this is the sucker we're replacing today. Out with the old, in with the new 500 gigabyte. Oof, way better. I would clean this all out, but I don't have a desk can, so I'll have to do this another day. Turns out it was defected, and I have to take it back to Amazon. Just got the return. All right, guys, I've been enjoying the JV4 for a couple days now on Mac 1. I actually have it also on the settings um, of full max LED brightness. I, I don't even know if you guys know that JV4s can do that, but it actually can. So that's a cool thing. The, if you guys have LED lights, which most modern BMWs have, if you go to the third setting on the left gate, you pretty much put your car on max brightness all the way around, and it's super sick at night. All your LEDs are maxed out, and at the same time, I am on Map 1, so it does add that additional horsepower that's super enjoyable and you can actually enjoy it with absolutely no mods I've been I've been beating on this car all day running errands and uh, it's been pretty well to me and what's cool about it too if it does throw any codes on my dash I'm like oh what the heck it's not like you have to go home and figure it out you can just go ahead and read codes that's super sick so yeah you got that peace of mind and what I like about it guys is this instant power so let's go ahead and just floor it Woo, buddy my like guys my I have Invisalign's on so if my my talk is a little bit weird um, please understand. Invisalign is no fun. And for $700, which is roughly for the app, the wireless adapter, and the JB4, people always ask me, what is the best code reader? And I always say Carly because it's portable, you can take it anywhere you want, and it's super convenient. You don't need a laptop. Well, the same thing goes with the JB4. The JB4, you have the phone, always connected to your car. You can read the codes, clear the codes. The Carly adapter is roughly about $80, and the app, I think a yearly subscription of $60, while well, this is a one time fee. So if you guys are planning on keeping your BMW for a long period of time, I definitely recommend the GB4 for not only the power gains, the fact that I just coded an LED light, and now the coding. What I also like with the GB4 compared to its predecessors is a lot of people are going digital, and the reason why I mentioned in the last video why I'm not a big fan of digital is kind of like buying digital textbooks from school. Yeah, police just chill in there. Oh my god, that is creepy. Now the downside of something physical is the fact you have to install it, but you guys have to look at it like this. Anything that's installable is also removable, which is actually really nice. So hypothetically, if one day you were to sell this car and you picked up a newer 535, you can just move the tune over without having to spend any money as long as it's the same motor. Or you can even sell the tune and buy a tune for your new car at no cost. Because tunes on the secondhand market, as long as there's no lock to the actual tune, which JB4s are not because you just plug them in, they have a really good used market, which is awesome. And while digital is a lot easier to install, there is no resale value for something digital. Once you install it, that's it. You redeem it, you installed it, it was easy, but that's the end of that. So yeah, if you ask me, I do like physical things, mainly for the fact that you can get most of your money back when it's time to upgrade. But anyway, enough of that, the JB4. The GB4 is great. I honestly love the product. I'm definitely getting a GB4 on my 135 because I'm definitely gonna be pushing it. My last 335, I did not push it because I was too scared. This time, I am ready for it. So go ahead and get another GB4 for the 135. I'm probably gonna pair it with an MHG as well. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash that like button. And if you guys wanna see me take this on the track, make sure to let me know down below. If we can get this video to 3,000 likes, I will, I will take this car to the track with the intake installed and the tune. 3,000 likes, guys. But as for now, let's go ahead and just get a Jamba Juice. Uh, second thought, we're at Jamba Juice, but uh, let's not get Jamba Juice. I really want one, but I'm gonna be a good boy, work out first, and then get myself a Jamba Juice. Anyway, let me just go home, work out. I'll let you guys know the plan is for the week with the F10. We just got some parts in the mail, as you guys saw earlier. I'm sure you guys are gonna be pretty stoked. Guys, it really just disgusts me how people just throw things out the window. Like, look at this girl right here. Why are you throwing things out the window? Oh my God. And I thought people that drive Priuses are trying to do something good. 
Oh my god. And we've officially made it right back home. So yeah, guys, we have a full body kit for the F10. I'm actually waiting on some fenders. Uh, we have a full body kit here. It's either an M4 style, an M5 style, or an M Sports. Let me know what you guys think it is down below. And I also have a hood back there, which I'm not going to be showing you guys. It's actually not in the garage. It's actually back there inside the house. Mainly because my dad was getting kind of pissed at me with all these boxes and shit. But I mean, hey, I mean, I'm a car guy. So like, what, what can I say? This is like one of those things when you get a white feet, make sure she likes cars. Because if she doesn't, uh, your life's going to be a living hell. At least if you're a car guy. I'm doing some research on what color wrap I should wrap the 535. I was thinking about wrapping it the same color as copper but you guys are telling me not to wrap the 535 the same color so if i'm not wrapping it the same color i need your guys' help so comment down below what colors please also list the brand so if you guys are going to say like for example like gloss black to say gloss black by either Avery or 3M because it makes a difference. So I was looking at a few colors myself, kind of like a bluish, kind of like pearl color. I kind of like the bluish pearl. It's, it's an interesting color. Kind of like the individual color on the F80. is like only like one or two of them ever created. I think it looks super dope. It's really close to it, but obviously it's not the exact same thing. So I was kind of considering that kind of bluish ocean vibe. I think it's kind of cool. But if you guys don't like that, let me know down below what you guys think. Guess the body kit down below. This is pretty much a vlog because your boy has has to get a lot of schoolwork done, so forgive me. Next couple videos will be a whole bunch of mods in the F10. We have hella maintenance for the 135. I want to get it to 500 horsepower in less than three months, and after that, we're looking to some turbo upgrades. So hope you guys are excited for that. Anywho guys, but I do like to give a shout out to everyone who purchased a crate to enter that JB4 giveaway. So Donovan Holmes, Giovanni Jimenez, Bodin Tisvold, Aiden Kambitz, Quentin Parker, Julio Rodriguez, Ezat Ramadan, and Will Bearfield. Shout out to you guys for entering the JB4 giveaway. I think it was only like seven of you guys. So one of you seven are gonna be getting a package in the mail that possibly has a JB4 tune in there. So not only are you gonna be getting everything from the crate, and not only are you gonna be featured on the F10 plaque, but you could possibly see a JB4 tune in one of you guys' packages. So whoever that gets it, please tag me on Instagram so I can show the world you guys got it so no one thinks this is uh, you know, rigged or anything. I'm actually gonna be taking pictures of the one that I'm putting it into just to make sure people start seeing, you know, saying some things because people just love to like say like, you know, this is fake, this is fake. I don't do fake stuff on the channel, guys. I love you guys so much. I want to get back to you guys. So one of you seven are gonna be in the JV4. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.